beautiful people, I am back! And I am back with a try on. Don't mind my little nightgown that I have on. Um, my house coat. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I am here. It is summertime. It is wedding season. It's in full effect. There's a lot of weddings going on and stuff like that. And you know, there's inflation there's you know people trying to get married from when everything was canceled during the pandemic and stuff so I was like what if I did a try on of wedding dresses on a budget yes so your girl went to my favorite <laughs> online store and I went to Shein and they actually have a very very nice selection of wedding dresses they also have bridesmaids you know wedding guests all that jazz or whatever but they do have a section of specific wet for wedding dresses and um, I got I got four wedding dresses plus some head pieces and um, you know, I was very, very shocked. Pricing, all the dresses are under $100. I think there's one dress that costs a hundred and the rest of them are under a hundred. So, and I was highly, highly surprised on the quality of the dresses. Um, they are pretty decent quality. Um, obviously you're not getting like a thousand dollar quality dress, but the dresses are very, very nice and will absolutely do the job for the wedding and you would look beautiful because the dresses are actually really, really, really beautiful. Very nice. I loved actually all of them, um, but I do have one that is my favorite. <laughs> so um, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead I'm going to try it. Now I'm going to try them on from my least favorite and my favorite one is going to be the last one. All right. So let me get changed. You know, I got a little dolled up, a little fancy earrings on and you know, and um, I'm going to try everything on and let's get to it. Okay. So first dress, this was actually would have probably been my favorite, um, but this part for me just comes very high up so like it needs to come like down much lower but I have a very small torso and um, it just comes up much much higher on me than probably the app you know someone that has a longer torso torso now I just think it goes like this should probably be up to here that's what I think um, but yeah this is the first one I absolutely love it I love all of them um, it's so pretty it's so elegant for me I think this is maybe like a renewal of your vowels or maybe a second marriage type of wedding dress um, if it's like your first wedding I don't I don't see this as a first time uh, really wedding dress but it's so pretty um, I think with a little steaming it will relax could it is a little the lace is a bit stiff um, so I think with a little steam or something it'll loosen it up but I absolutely love the dress it is a little it's big and a bit fitted <laughs> in certain areas for me um, but I overall I loved it and I paired it with um, this little um, headpiece um, but I do also have this veil which I absolutely love because it reminds me of like a 1920s style of veil from back in those days. So I'm going to just throw it on over this. Um, I would recommend having your hair. Oh, maybe not. There we go. <laughs> so, um, let's see. 
I'm gonna bring you guys up a little bit. All right. So this is the uh, the veil that I, one of the veils that I got. Um, it's very old fashioned to me. Very 1920s Hollywood glamour Gatsby uh, style. Um, I absolutely love it, and I love the pearls. And the veil material is very, very soft. It's not like a stiff, you know, rough material. It's actually really, really soft. And I love it. It looks beautiful. I would, I could wear either or, just the headpiece or the veil with it. Um, but it's so pretty. The dress is beautiful. And um, yeah, so I think this one was like 65 or 70 bucks. And the veil, I think, was like ten dollars, and the headpiece, the little clip headpiece, I think, was like five bucks. So, wedding outfit right here, like under eighty bucks, <laughs> eighty bucks or less. <laughs> so, next, and here is the other one that I bought. Um, this is actually the one that gave me the idea to make this video because I just saw it and I was like, oh my god. So, um, this one is very tight on me, so kind of, you know, doesn't fit. I would need another size up for me to feel comfortable in it. But it is absolutely beautiful also. It comes off, it drapes off the shoulders. I don't know if you can even make it, nah, much better <laughs> off the shoulders. Um, it has some cupping in it and it's just really pretty again i would steam the dress a little bit just to soften it up um it does have like a little train in the back um i don't know if you guys can see it um let me bring it down because <laughs> i got i want you guys to see it Oh, there it is. There she is. So that is the little train. And again, um, I don't know if this would be a first wedding dress, like if it was my first time getting married, if this would be a style of wedding dress that I would wear. Um, I could definitely see, or maybe like a beach wedding, possibly, um, a dress like this. But I could definitely see maybe like a second time wedding or like a renewal of the vowels in a dress like this or I said like I said maybe a beach wedding um, it's very pretty though it's you know the quality is really really good and again I paired it with um, this little headpiece um, you I don't know if I would probably if I would wear this maybe if my dress had if the dress had some pearls or something on it itself also um, but other than that I don't know if I would wear wear a veil with it probably not um, unless it's just like a small clip-in veil um, I'll just use this like as a reference like unless it's like a small little veil like that but, or longer but it's just a clip for the back part portion of um, here. I wouldn't do like a full veil that covers my whole head and face, you know, with it. But yeah, again, super cute. Um, and you can't like really go wrong with the, you know, with the price. I think this one was, I think this one was like $95. I'm not 100% sure, but it's very, very pretty very cute and uh, definitely a steal a great bargain you know for a you know beautiful wedding can't go wrong okay and then this is my runner-up right here now this is a full-fledged first time down the aisle style wedding dress and I love it 
So I paired it with like a Spaniard, I call it a Spaniard style veil. And it has the um, lace trimming. Okay, so I paired it with this type of veil. This, um, the top part is um, big on me, so it folds. It folds, uh, it folds off. <laughs> but um, this is this look. So this dress is two pieces, okay? So you can wear it. I'm just trying to like fix this nice here. All right. So this is the veil. I always loved this style veil since I was a little girl. Um, I really, really like this uh, the Spaniard look veil. Um, so that would be like my thing. Um, really. Um, so I got this veil to go with this outfit. So. I'm gonna show you guys, this is a veil. It's pretty long, as you can see. Um, I don't need, like, to me, this is long enough. I don't need anything crazy. Um, and I just clipped this in. But it's so pretty. I'll show you the look. And again, I would steam it just to soften it out a little. Um, but I absolutely love this style whale. But whale? <laughs> I mean veil. <laughs> whale. <sighs> Alright, so I'm gonna just take off this. The only thing that I would say about the veil is that I wish it just came with a clip. Like a clear comb style clip or something. Um, cause for this you would have to um, do it on your own. Find a clip on your own. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. You can also pin it where it'll look like it's a dual, you know, two piece. Um, and then just like clip it in back here, like, like so. You can also do something like that. Uh, but I prefer it the other way. So this is the veil um, that I just paired. It doesn't come with the dress. I just paired it with this dress. So that was just my thing. <sighs> okay, so I just want to get this out of the way. Okay, so here is the dress itself. Um, it has this little belted piece here. Um, it's like a velvety material. Um, and it gives your dress like just that extra oomph. So it kind of gives you like a princess look um, at the same time as, you know, having a more sophisticated uh, fitted look also. So this one was the $100 dress. <coughs> this one was the most expensive one out of all of them. And, um, I mean, I can see why, because there's definitely more um, uh, to it with the extra little piece. And let me just say, for a hundred bucks, like, if you want it, you could add some stones, glam it up. But it has these flowers that kind of just pop off on, on the dress. Like, it gives it, like, extra dimension. Um, it's really, really, really pretty. I, this is my runner up, um, I love it and I would even say it goes side by side with the next, the last one that I'm going to try on because I would do or could do either look because I love both of these dresses pretty much equally. So, so this is an um, extra piece, um, you can take it off. 
do not have to wear it. Um, probably like at the reception, because it's just way too much material. <laughs> and then you have the uh, fitted, uh, just a fitted dress under. I'm gonna walk forward and then I'm gonna turn around. And the back is open. So, just so you guys can see the train on this dress. So it does have a really cute train as well. It is such a pretty dress. I really, really do love it. Um, and like I said, it is up there with my last one, which I say is my favorite. Um, but it's neck and neck. I really love this dress. It's beautiful. I love the extra. Um, it is a bit see-through, um, but I could you, know, you could easily fix that with a bit of um, tailoring. Um, and I would probably just do that, but it's just so pretty. It's such a pretty dress. A hundred bucks, like, come on. What more could you ask for? <laughs> Seriously, for a hundred dollars. It's a beautiful. It's a beautiful dress for a hundred bucks and You're not breaking the bank And you will look just as beautiful in it than as a thousand three thousand four thousand dollar dress and feel beautiful in it so That I'm gonna get to my next one and last is this one right here <laughs> I love this dress um, this is like I said my favorite one <laughs> I think it's so beautiful I see a fairy lights and fairy theme garden theme wedding so romantic and beautiful and yeah this is it this is I say yes to this dress. <laughs> the only thing that I am not extremely crazy about is um, I feel like there's just a way too much of this tool. Um, I would take some in um, a little bit because this part just seems like it's just a bit too much. So I would just take a little bit of it in. Um, but other than that, there's nothing. I would just shorten it. It does have like a little train. So I would just kind of shorten it in the front. And that's it. It's beautiful. I love it. It's simple. Maybe I would add like a maybe a little flower a flower belt here that would match the flowers up here. But look at for Shein. Come on. Like look at the detailing on the dress. It's really cute. It's very nice. It doesn't feel cheap at all. Um, the only thing that I would fix also is you see these cups here. They're way too high. They need to be lower and even a bit bigger. But other than that, that can be pulled out. And I would probably just do like another flower ribbon right here. And maybe add a little more of these little stones just to make it a little more. But other than that, the material itself has these little sparkly things in it and it's just throughout the whole dress it has like multiple layers um you know it has a satin layer skirt and then it has another layer with the same kind of sparkly things and then it just has the uh, plain white layer and again i paired it with um the little um headpiece and that's how I would wear it. I probably would not wear a veil at all. Um, that's just me. But I, I love this dress, and uh, I would. This would be my dress. This would definitely be my my dress for my day. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, and I think it was like seventy bucks. This one, so. Um, the other one before it was the most expensive one. I think it was a hundred and then there was one that was ninety dollars I think and then there was one I think that was like 70 also so 
I don't remember the exact prices, but only the last one that I was a hundred dollars, and all the rest of them were under under a hundred. So can't beat it. Come on, Shein. <laughs> like, let's give them a round of applause because they're really doing it. <laughs> so anyway, guys, that is it for my video. Like always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below because I am reading your comments and trying to get back to them. Um, let me know what you thought of these dresses. Which one would you pick? Um, you know, and um, that's pretty much it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I said that already. And guys, if you haven't checked me out on my OnlyFans page, go ahead and show me some love. OnlyFans.com slash Miss Lupin. And I will catch you down the aisle. <laughs> Later.